Harry, Meghan is a poor person among the rich Hollywood stars. The former editor of Vanity Fair said Prince Harry and Meghan don't have enough money to compare with the super-rich stars in Hollywood. The Telegraph newspaper on October 9 reported that Tina Brown, former editor of Vanity Fair magazine and author of the British royal books The Diana Chronicles and The Palace Papers, mentioned the life of the Duke and Duchess. Duke of Sussex in California, USA, while participating in the Henley Literary Festival, UK. The female author describes the status of Harry and Meghan as only a D-class, poor by Hollywood standards. It's not pleasant to be a D-class celebrity who, for them, doesn't have enough money. That makes them feel out of place when staying with the super-rich class A. In Montecito, their $14 million mansion is a modest cottage compared to what others have, said Brown. According to the Daily Mail, the combined fortune of Harry and Meghan is estimated at £20 million, more than $22 million. Meanwhile, their neighbor, media tycoon Oprah Winfrey, MC leading the shocking interview of the estranged royal couple, has £2.26 billion, $2.49 billion, in hand. USD. Also nearby, Jay-Z and Beyonce are worth around £1.35 billion, $1.49 billion. Actor Tyler Perry is also richer with about £800 million, $884 million. Other residents such as MC-slash-comedian Ellen DeGeneres and reality TV star-slash-businesswoman Kylie Jenner own £451 million, $498 million, and £900 million, $995 million, respectively. According to The Telegraph, Tina Brown further revealed that Prince Harry's memoirs may never be published. The Duke of Sussex is said to be in a difficult position. He signed a contract and received money to launch the book, revealing everything about his terrible life as a member of the British royal family. However, he understood that if he did that, there would be no way back. Brown also predicted the possibility that King Charles III would have to pay an advance to prevent his second son from completing the book. Tina Brown was one of the last people to see Princess Diana before her death. They met over a luncheon in New York in the summer of 1997. The former Princess of Wales died at the end of August of the same year. When asked what advice the biographer believes Diana would give her son if he were still alive, Brown suggested that Diana would advise Harry to return to the family. Diana is very pragmatic. I think she's going to tell Harry that what he's doing isn't going anywhere, needs to compromise and find a way back, she speculated. In early October, the Santa Barbara News Press reported that Harry and Meghan wanted to move from Montecito to Hope Ranch, a coastal suburb of Santa Barbara, California, about 16 kilometers from their current residence. The source said that the couple wanted to change places because the nine-bedroom villa they lived in since March 2020 is no longer suitable. In July, it was reported that the house had many break-ins in May. <laughs>